The laws of nature are the orderly expressions that govern the universe. There are laws of nature that give nature its regularity, its repeatability, its intelligibility to the human mind. So the laws of nature are the orderly principles, the intelligent principles that uphold the function of the universe everywhere. At deeper levels of natural law, the laws of nature become more compact. of unity, the self-interacting dynamics of the unified field at the basis of diversity, all the laws of nature become absolutely compact. The unified field, the unified the unified source of all the laws of nature. The unified source of all the intelligence that governs the universe. Therefore, the unified field must be the most compact field of intelligence in nature. One of the profound successes of unified field theory is the extraordinary ability to unify the physics of the very large, in particular the force of gravity, with quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics. Gravity has resisted quantization for 50 years, and it was the very concept of gravity as a separate force that was the logical error. error, 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 error. The very concept of separate forces is ultimately, mathematically and logically, inconsistent. The solution to come up with a mathematically self-consistent theory of the world was to abandon the notion of separate forces and separate particles and unite them all in the context of one holistic entity called the unified field. The way this unification occurs is that there is one universal ocean of intelligence. This field of existence percolates string like ginger ale percolates effervescent bubbles. These little strings which emerge from this ocean of existence are really fundamentally of one type. There is only one expressed entity in the universe. But because these little strings can vibrate in different ways, like elastic rubber bands, vibrating to the left, vibrating to the right, vibrating this way, and this way, you can enumerate the number of vibrational possibilities for a string moving in ten dimensions of space. When you enumerate the possible vibrational states of a superstring, you discover that the string vibrations 
correspond precisely to what we used to call gravity. 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 Or, if it's vibrating a different way, to what we used to call electromagnetic. Or if it's vibrating in a different way, what we used to call quarks and leptons. All the particles and forces that comprise the universe are just the different vibrational states of the superstrings. Just the expressions of this unified field, like waves on an ocean. These theories are extremely successful, and again, provide the only logically consistent quantized theory of gravity, forcing scientists, even who were initially reluctant, to accept the superstring and unification as the only possible logically consistent conclusion that we are living in a unified 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 unified